On Tool Minutes this week, how to use the Illustrator Blend Tool. Now the Blend Tool is one of those that it just feels like it just gets left behind all the time. I don't know if it's that people don't understand how to use it or just don't see its purpose and what it can really be used for. There's so many different things you can do with this tool. It's more than just blending colors together. You can, of course, use it for that, but then you can also use it to add evenly spaced items or you can use it to create half tones. So we're gonna get into those three things today. So hopefully after this, you've got some sort of basic understanding of how to use this tool. Again, these two minute videos aren't meant to be in-depth tutorials. They're quick, off the cuff, here's how you use the tool. Now go out there and figure out how to actually implement it into your design work. Don't forget if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you stick around and watch more future videos that I've got coming out, which are gonna include some full length tutorials. Uh, hit that thumbs up if you learned something and leave a comment below. Let me know what other tools you guys are interested in. I'm gonna work my way basically through every tool that Illustrator has, which is gonna take some time. So inside of Illustrator, I've kind of set up my artboard here for a few different examples with the Blend Tool. I'm going to do a more in-depth tutorial down the road, but let's get started. To access the Blend Tool, I can go to Object, Blend, Blend Options, and that brings up my dialog box. I can also get to it through this little icon here, which is the square with the two circles, or I can hit W on my keyboard. I prefer keyboard shortcuts. This is the Blend Tool icon. As you can see, when I hover over an object, I get a little asterisk. That's gonna be my starting shape. So we're gonna blend these two lines together. I'm gonna to click on the first one. I'm gonna click on the second one, which you can see is a plus sign now. And that's blended those two together. It's done it with specified steps. So if I wanted to say six steps in between, I can go here and click six, and I get six steps in between. Remember, it's in between, not as a total. So if I wanted six total, I would put four here because I started out with two. I now have six steps. Let's say I want to blend these two colors together. I don't know why, I just want to. Again, I'm going to go to W and I'm going to click on my first one, click on my second one, and you can see it's still doing specified steps. So I want to smooth the color on these. I'm going to option click, brings up my blend options again, and I can go smooth color. Nice smooth gradient between those two shapes. And my last option, or what I can use this for, is to make some nice half tones. So I've got these two shapes here. I'm going to go W, click on my first one, click on my second one, and then I'm going to drag this over so I can get a nice half tone effect. And I'm just going to go Command D to duplicate those over. And I could be able to expand this out and make some nice half tones that I can use on illustrations or other artwork inside of Illustrator. All right, designers, that's it for Tool Minutes this week. I'm hoping you picked up how to use the Blend Tool and possibly have something in mind how you can implement this into your workflow or into a design that you're currently working on, which if you are, tag me on social media. I spend most of my time on Instagram and Twitter, so those are the best platforms to find me. All right, I'm out. I gotta get back to designing, and I hope you do too. Get out there, design something, and I'll see you in the next video.